welcome to my channel if you are new here hello you are spiritually connected with katiba that's for sure okay look be proud of yourself for setting boundaries that express self-love you have had to set some boundaries with some people you have had to set some boundaries with yourself that express self-love. It may not have been easy, but in that moment, you felt that it was necessary. You felt that it was absolutely necessary. So be proud of yourself for that because it's very hard. It's not easy. A lot of people, they allow others to walk over them. A lot of people, they allow themselves to not be free, to not live in their truth, to not be authentic to themselves. Whenever you feel something deep down in your soul, whenever your soul tells you something, whenever your heart tells you something, like you should abide by that. And that's what you have done. So be proud of yourself for setting those boundaries with yourself and others that express self-love. Like I said, it hasn't, it's not always the easiest thing to do because sometimes it's uncomfortable. Sometimes you may have had, you may have, um, had to hurt people in the process like and it's not funny but you've had to hurt others in the process of being true to yourself of being true to what your soul desire you have had to keep people at a distance because it's what your soul told you to do so be proud of yourself because you're being true to you it's one thing to be true to others it's one thing to be loyal to others but you're being loyal to yourself. You're showing up for you. You're living life for you. That's something to be proud of. Not everyone has that strength. Not everyone has the ability to do that. Not everyone has the mindset to do that. Not everyone even knows that there's a such thing as boundaries. Like you figured out this thing called boundaries and you have been setting them. And you have been setting them to make you feel good. You have been setting them to make your life smooth. And anyone who does not align with that, they got to go, for real, for real. Like, And not that they got to be like gone, poof, gone forever, but you've learned to love them from a distance. You learn to love them in the best way that you know how to. Because just because um, people who hold certain titles doesn't mean that you have to allow them in your face you have to allow them in your space that you have to give them your energy like you've been setting boundaries that you've been setting boundaries that allow people to not take your energy if it's not mutual if it ain't mutual then you don't really want much to do with it the type of boundaries you have been setting have truly expressed self-love. Even the ones you set against yourself. Like you've had to make some tough decisions when it comes to your life, when it comes to your choices, when it comes to your day-to-day, -day, when it comes to the vices that you use, when it comes to the way that you're spending your time, the way that um, you're allowing things, people, places, and things to consume your energy you realize what makes you feel good and what don't. And whatever don't make you feel good, whatever um, feels like a burden, whatever don't sit right with your spirit, you have learned to set healthy boundaries with these people, with these places, and with these things, like with yourself. So be proud of yourself for that because it takes a lot of strength. It takes a lot of courage. It takes a lot of wisdom. Like like I said, some people don't even know that boundaries are a thing. They think that whatever is presented is what it has to be. But no, you are a co-creator of your life. You are working hand-in-hand -hand with the universe to create your experiences. So be proud of yourself for that. Be proud of yourself for setting boundaries that express self-love. When something don't feel right, you don't have to do it. It's nothing that you owe anybody. It's, it's not a thing. 
And it's the same thing vice versa. When something feels right, when something naturally flows, when your soul is telling you to do something, when your soul is telling you that's okay, that's all right, go for it. Go for it. Trust that gut instinct. Be proud of yourself. You out here just like busting down, <laughs> breaking down um, all type of uncomfortable things. Like you're breaking down cycles that people are afraid to, like you're breaking down walls that people are afraid to break down. Like they'll rather sit there and they'll rather look at that wall. They'll rather knock on that wall. They are not gonna bust it down because they don't know what is on the other side. Be proud of yourself for not being afraid to see what's on the other side. For not being afraid to let people go. For not being afraid to let things go. Addictions go. Be proud of yourself. Every single step on your journey, like every single step along the way, be proud. Those small wins, be proud. Be proud. <laughs> like you deserve it. You may not be where you want to be. You may not have uh, broken every cycle that you want to break. Like you may not have set every boundary with every single person that you want to set a boundary with. But you're conscious of it. And you have set certain boundaries with people. And things change. One day you may feel like this and one day you may be more aligned with certain uh, people, places, and things. But wherever you are on your journey, don't be afraid to express that to yourself and don't be afraid to express that to others. Whatever your soul tells you, don't be afraid to go against anything that does not align with that. To stay true to you. To be true to you, to be who it is that you are at the core, not what others see. Nobody knows what you're feeling on the inside, but you, what you're truly feeling, like play from play. And even you are constantly learning yourself. So when you learn something new about yourself, don't be afraid to move differently. Don't be afraid to act brand new. Don't be afraid to cut people off. Don't be afraid to love people from a distance. If your, if your body is telling you something, don't be afraid to listen to it and switch up and figure out what works for you. If that career not right and your spirit is telling you, go for it, go do something else, go get a new career, go get a new job, don't be afraid. Everything is temporary here on this earth. Nothing lasts forever. Live your life. <laughs> live your life. Be true to you. Like live life for you and then for others. Because if you don't got nothing for yourself, you ain't got nothing for nobody else. And if you can't be true to yourself first, you can't be true to others. This is when you get into these cycles of lying to others just to make them feel good in the moment but the truth always the truth is always going to show itself so be proud of yourself for setting boundaries that express self-love you deserve it you deserve to love yourself and the only way that you can set those boundaries that express self-love is because you love yourself you are learning more and more to love yourself you're learning how to love yourself. You're learning how to deal with yourself. You're learning how to be gentle with yourself. You're learning how to be true to yourself. Anytime you may mess up, don't shame yourself for it. Like this is this is the journey. It's, it's everlasting. You're gonna continuously bump your head. You're gonna continuously learn. You're gonna continuously have to set boundaries. You are and be proud of yourself every step of the way. Like, cause you're doing big things. Like I said, not everybody even know what a boundary is. Like, be proud of yourself for knowing how to say no. Be proud of yourself for saying, I'm going to do it because it's what I want to do. Be proud of yourself for that. 
Those words are very powerful. Those actions are very powerful. Be proud of yourself for moving out of your people-pleasing ways, for not being a people-pleaser. Be proud of yourself for pleasing yourself. Because <laughs> if you can't please yourself, you can't please nobody. It's nothing that you have for nobody. It's nothing that you have. This is why you may have all of these materialistic things and people may look and, and, and think that your life is all good. Or you may look at other people's lives and think that it's all good, but on the inside, they're hurting. They're not true. They're not being authentic. Be proud of yourself for being authentic. Be proud of yourself for showing up for you. Be proud of yourself for setting boundaries that express self-love. Chosen one. Star seed. Be proud of yourself. If this video resonates, if it hit different, let me know how so in the comment section below. If you haven't already, go ahead and grab your membership badge um, and stand out. I'm, I'm, I'm going to say like that badge in the comment section next to your name, it looks as good as you do. Not everyone is going to get a badge and I totally understand that. Not everyone is, you know, not everyone is different and that's okay. That's okay. If you're new here, I do invite you to hit that subscribe button. That is all I have for this video. Stay spiritually used, stay spiritually in tune, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.